All right, so this is a video that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Um, and it's about the differences between a genuine Trigicon ACOG scope and the fake Trigicon ACOG, sc ACOG scopes that you often see for sale on eBay, on Craigslist, on AliExpress, and other uh, Chinese sites. And these are sites that attempt to closely replicate the genuine article, but in reality don't come close unless you know what to look for. Uh, these are uh, going to be uh, some of the differences and things that you can look at. And this is going to be strictly uh, pertaining to the Trigicon ACOG that I own, which is a TA31F. And what I found to be a very close, uh, basically a fake version of that particular scope, other than the reticle is slightly different. Um, that I purchased through AliExpress for about 70 bucks. And as you know, Trujicon ACOG scopes are, if you you buy one brand new, you're going to spend a minimum of $1,000. That's what they cost. $950, $1,000, $1,100, 1200 in the, that general price range. That's what you should look to spend for a legit brand new Trujicon ACOG scope. And uh, like I said, this this fake one I got for 70 bucks. And it was shipped directly here from China. So I'm going to show you some of the differences and what to look for. Okay, here. so uh, this is the packaging, or the box, that you would see a Trijicon ACOG come in. Um, it's a hard plastic box. It's going to have the serial number and information about the actual scope on the side. Uh, Trijicon logos. And it's, it's not actually like a uh, Pelican type of case, but it's some sort of cheaper replication of that. Um, so it's got these two clippy thingies. Get inside. You're going to have your foam pieces, your actual genuine Trijicon ACOG scope. I took this off my night time a bit to do this video. Underneath this layer, you're going to have the stuff that typically comes with a Trijicon scope. A Trijicon scope cover, a Trijicon lens pen. Actually, it's just a regular lens pen. It doesn't have Trijicon logo on it. Manual, uh, warranty card, and a couple of uh, Trijicon stickers. And, of course, product information uh, manual. Or, uh, what do you call it? That's the operator's manual. This must be actually the warranty. Yeah, that's the warranty. No, oh, sorry. Product summary. That's like, okay, that's their, like, I don't see. I don't even know what all comes in here. But anyway, the uh, standard stuff that comes with an optic is what you're going to find in the case. And here's the actual Trijicon scope. Oh. <laughs> now, for comparison purposes, this is the box for the uh, the uh, fake knockoff ACOG scope. This should be a red flag to anybody that uh, is looking to buy a Trijicon ACOG scope uh, that's being passed off as genuine uh, because this does not look anything like something that you would expect a $1,000 optic to come in. And here's how it comes packaged. I mean, not bad, right? But it's not the genuine article. And here's the actual scope, loose in the box. What well, does it does have? Uh, like comes with a plastic bag when it uh, is shipped. So it's the actual scope, and uh, pretty much really nothing on the box other than this one marking right here, which is probably some sort of a product number, I guess. Um, anyway, it doesn't have any any branding on the actual box at all. Okay. Here's the two uh, ACOG, and I use that term loosely on this one, scope side by side. This is the genu genuine article. This is a fake. Now, uh, one of the easiest ways to determine a fake scope um, when you're talking about an ACOG, and most commonly the biggest glaring uh, sign of a fake that you'll see is this right here where Trijicon is written in white. As far as I know, Trijicon does not make a single ACOG scope that has a white logo on the uh, body of the scope. And it is listed as one of the things on their website in determining a counterfeit ACOG is that all Trijicon optics, or all Trijicon ACOGs have the logo actually uh, molded into the metal housing. It's actually raised um, off the, you can, you can feel it, you know. The fake does not have that. It's just laser inscribed on there. 
I'm sure you could probably scratch that off with your fingernail if you really tried. It's some sort of etching, or not etching, but laser uh, engraving or, pa or painted or something on there. Uh, another thing is every Trijicon ACOG scope will have the serial number twice right on the top of the optic uh, where the two pieces meet. This is the back, the part of the eyepiece where it's screwed on to the main part of the optic. Your serial number will be on there twice. The other third thing that Trijicon mentions on their website as an indication of whether it is real or fake is it should have some sort of warning about the tritium inside the uh, optic. See right there, Trijicon ACOG contains tritium, blah, 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 purchase or exempt, blah, blah, all that. Um, here's what this one, this one obviously, no serial numbers anywhere on it. It's just assembly line, you know. And this, I don't believe, oh, it does say contains tritium, which is actually a lie. Uh, this, this site contains no tritium. And the way to, and you can tell that by, you know, going into a dark room, covering up the fiber optic and looking into the actual uh, eyepiece, and you'll see there is no tritium in there. However, the fiber optic on this does work. It actually does work the same way that the genuine fiber optic works. However, it is of a much lower quality. Okay, I'm holding in my hand the real ACOG here. Um, and one of the other ways uh, that you can gener generally uh, spot a fake is with the base. Uh, this is the actual Trijicon base. I believe it's called a TA-51 mount uh, that comes standard on most Trijicon ACOGs. Um, as you can see, it's built pretty solid. It's very well manufactured, smooth, nice solid aluminum. Everything works very smooth on it. It's it's quite well constructed and quite sturdy. The base that comes on the fake is basically not. These are a lot cheaper feeling. Um, they more rattly. Um, the metal on here is uh, of a lower quality. You can tell there's already barring on this from being mounted. This is actually a newer optic than the than the real one. And this one was mounted as well for quite a while, for a couple of years. And uh, you can see there's really no marks on that base. Whereas this one has been mounted to a rifle for like six months and it's already, I mean, it's been, it's showing signs of wear on the, on the anodizing there. So another thing to look out for, if you'll notice one of the, one of these uh, crossbars, lugs, or whatever you call those, is raised. This is the only one that actually makes contact in a rail slot on your, on your Picatinny rail. Um, so this one's actually raised up to where it does not fit into a rail slot on your rail. The reason they do that is so that this optic can be mounted on guns that have a non-standard, uh, non-1913 style Picatinny rail. And that's because a lot of guys use it on airsoft rifles and just, you know, less, rifles that don't have a standard rail. Uh, the ACOG, the genuine ACOG, does have both cross lugs that make contact in a rail slot and it's generally a much more sturdy and trustworthy uh, mount. You can probably see from the front too just the thickness and girth of it. But the overall quality of the uh, aluminum is just higher. Look at that. Uh, the one on the left is the fake. You can see the actual uh, base of the scope where it fits into the mount is quite a bit thinner just you know, generally of lower quality. <clears throat> okay, so this is the real ACOG. We're gonna do some close-ups um, and just kind of go all around the optic where you can see. Uh, here's another thing: uh, the fiber optic cable is pinned in the front. That is not so on the uh, fakes. Generally, that is usually hot glued in there uh, on the fake ones. So let me just do some close-ups all around. See the objective lens. The way it's manufactured in there, the machining. Um, sorry, that lens is actually dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Um, there's your ACOG. All this stuff is actually um, molded in to the side of this metal. You can actually feel it raised lettering. Um, you have your turret caps. Um, have a wire. They're you know mounted on there to keep from losing them. I don't think I've seen that feature on a fake. You'll notice little differences in the font too of this stuff. Um, a lot of times if you read the uh, 
fake ones, this stuff makes no sense or it's in improper English or the QR code is completely non, just nonsense. It doesn't, it doesn't actually scan at all. Here's the base or the eyepiece of the scope. Um, and one thing you'll notice too is the actual finish on a genuine ACOG scope is slightly rougher and like there's, you can see where the, there's metal flashing where the pieces were like welded together and stuff. That's not, and there's slight imperfections in the actual metal of the uh, scope body. That's that's part of the characteristic of an ACOG scope. Uh, you know, that's just that's that's what that's how they're made. The fake ones don't have that. They're much, I mean, almost. I, I don't want to say nicer, but they're much smoother. The machining looks more precise and more perfect. There's no seams. There's not. You don't see all that stuff. It's it's it just. You, that's one of the things you can look at too. You see this eyepiece and how nice the machining looks around there and how even and everything like that it is and the actual contour of it. And the, the real one looks nothing like that. It's, you know, it looks almost, I would say, rough. Like rough around the edges. Like, you know, not well machined. That's kind of a trademark of ACOG. That's one of the things that you can identify as a feature of an ACOG scope. Now here's some closer up shots of the fake one. Um, a lot cheaper design. You can see there's glue and stuff in there. The optics are of really, really horrible quality. <laughs> I'll get a shot of where you actually can see through both of these and it's it's night and day. I don't know what this even says. Trijicon contains tritium. The purchaser is sent for me regulatory responsibility. U.S. patent number, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, that's That actually does make a little bit of sense. I mean, that looks fairly legit. However, that QR code is pretty obviously fake compared to that. Well, it just looks all jumbled up. I wonder if they're even close. I never really looked at this side by side too much. No, they're totally different. Anyway. Um, here's another thing. Uh, the turrets. Here, I'm going to take one of these turret caps off the fake one. Oh, here, here, this, you can see where this is hot glued in here. You can actually see the, where the glue is underneath that fiber optic thing. All right, so I'm going to take this turret cap off here, and you'll see that this actually has screw, uh, adjustments, and it's quite, uh, cheap. It's, it's what you'd see on most cheap scopes. See that? These things do have fairly positive clicks. Uh, I don't know if I have anything that I can use to click it around right now. Let me let me stop. Okay. Here. See if you can hear this uh, click here. So you can see it does have fairly positive clicks, uh, but it, it does have to be uh, adjusted with a screwdriver. Or some, or a coin, or something. Um, these turret caps. Are, I believe there is an actual seal or O-ring in these. And one thing I'll say for this fake Acog is for a seventy-dollar optic, it's not bad. I mean, it's 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 the actual attempt to be a fake, and that some people actually buy these, and the fact that it has a Trijicon's logo on it. Some people buy these and try to pass them off as the real article and sell them for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and they're just flat not worth it. So here. That one's even more positive, you can hear. But, you know, they they click okay. Um, it actually holds zero. Um, we mounted this on a friend of mine's AR, and uh, he was able to get it zeroed in and shot at the range several times with it, and it's held zero. I mean, like I said, it's a decent little scope for 70 bucks. Um, that's through AliExpress, by the way. If you you find these ACOG clones, ACOG replicas, whatever they call them, on eBay, and generally, you know, people sell them for 150, 125 bucks, 100 bucks, 150 bucks, and uh, that's that's not bad. I mean, I bought it through AliExpress, which is like the Chinese version of a eBay. It's a little harder to stumble around through, through, and it's a little less trustworthy of a site. But I figured, you know what? For 70 bucks, I'm willing to gamble to get one of these over here to look at. I, I bought it simply for the purpose of comparing it to the real scope, which I have. Now, 
here is the real one. I'll show you the turrets on this. These are obviously machined a lot nicer. And these have actual um, where you twist it with your hand. And they're much more positive too. Let's see. Way more positive. Um, I'll show you the uh, windage one as well. Let's see. Much better seal. They, 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 they just go on there better. They feel more. They just feel better. You know, it's it's a thousand dollar scope versus a hundred dollar scope. Yeah, so you can see the difference there in the turrets. Um, obviously, that little wire thing is a nice feature to have, but that you know, they, in my opinion, all scopes should have that. Um, let's see what else can I say about this. Uh, okay, so in closing, um, again, the three things that Trigicon themselves say to look for when determining whether an ACOG is genuine or not is one. Does the uh, logo on the side, is it actually molded into the body of the, of the actual metal uh, scope? Okay, that's a key factor right there. Most all your fakes, any fake I've ever seen does not have raised lettering there. It's always just painted on like that. Um, that's a big giveaway usually. Secondly, serial number right here in the top, twice on the front part of the optic and the base part back here, the eyepiece. So right where those two pieces mate, mate together, there should be a serial number twice. And obviously that serial number should match what's on the side here. And this is the third thing that they say is that there should be inscribed on the side here, uh, the little part that mentions that the optic contains tritium. So you'll find some fakes that don't have that on there. They just have, you know, chinglish or basically bad English or Chinese English on there that make dabs. They're just nonsense, make no sense at all. Okay, here's kind of an example of the reticle on the real ACOG. No, it's kind of hard to make out. But you can see that it is a, a red chevron uh, with uh, markings for the different distances out to 800 meters. Um, and there's instructions included with it that talk about how to uh, use that reticle. We'll get into all that right now. But another thing to look at on an ACOG is right down at the bottom. I don't know if I can get it on here. See, it actually says at the very bottom there. Uh, it'll say the actual, uh, I think it says the model number. Or no, it just says 4x32. Yeah. 4 four by. I can't read that. <laughs> anyway, that's another uh, indication that you'll find in a genuine ACOG. Uh, the fake ones don't have anything down there. Okay, here's the best I can get of the fake one. You can see the reticle is slightly different in this one. Um, and also there's a little imperfection I noticed in the glass that's actually inside the eyepiece. That I didn't notice that last time. So that's something that's probably that happened. I imagine this probably is not uh, uh, nitrogen filled and not sealed uh, very well. Uh, but here's a good look at the reticle um, in the fake ACOG. Um, it also has the stanchion lines down to 800 meters, and it does have fiber optic illumination. However, the overall quality of the glass and the size of the reticle, um, in, rel in, in relative in relation to the actual. Uh, field of view is quite a bit different and if you ever get a chance to look through it's gonna be hard to show on video but the actual clarity and the detail and overall just image quality of everything is literally night and day it just it is like it is it is night and day um, so anyway that's the fake one and obviously you can see on the bottom uh, there's no uh, there's nothing down there talking about what the magnification is also this is that's another interesting thing it's listed as the same magnification as the actual ACOG which is four power however I doubt that um, I think it's probably closer to two and a half maybe two power 
but the actual size it's it's hard to tell because the 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 actual diameter of the inside part of the optic is so much different the when you look through a real ACOG it fills the entire inside it's like look at you can see almost the whole world it's a huge field of view the glass is so clear the opening is so large you get immersed in it this one is like looking through a paper towel uh, tube almost it's so much smaller of a diameter that you actually look through so it's hard to tell the difference in the magnification but I don't believe it's a true four power magnification. Okay, well that's gonna conclude uh, the description and the kind of differences uh, of a real ACOG versus a fake ACOG. I hope that that opens some eyes. Um, honestly, I, I've kind of turned into something of a little bit of a crusader about this because I search Craigli Craigslist often in my local area just for fun and see who's selling ACOGs. And, and oftentimes I find a seller on Craigslist or on eBay who has got an ACOG listed and they are not disclosing that it's a clone or a replica and they're asking for several hundreds of dollars even sometimes thousand a thousand dollars or more for what I know to be a fake ACOG and I always contact them and uh, and, and call them on it to suggest that they remove their ad or else uh, list it as what it really is because I don't want to see people get taken I the last thing I want to see is you know some guy buys a fake ACOG and thinks he's got a great optic and doesn't really know how truly good ACOGs really are um, because they're being sold a phony bill of goods by some scammer. So educate yourselves. Go on to Trijicon's website. Um, read more about it. Um, look them up online. Watch reviews, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully this helps. And if anybody has questions at all, obviously contact me here on the, on the comments. And thanks for watching. All right, happy shooting.